hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video and today i'm going to show you all the details of this car so the all new hyundai i10 first of all many thanks to hyundai hrvatska for letting me have the car on a test their link will be in the description with all the details and there it is and as you can see it looks much more sharper and much more aggressive than before and how did they manage to do that well first of all they lowered the roof line by 20 millimeters and also the car is 20 millimeters wider it looks much more stylish i think uh, the elements are very very nice uh, the length of the car remain the same so 3 meters and 67 easy to use it on a city drive and you can park it easily of course and maneuver through the streets of any city and that's always a plus for a car like this so let's start with the styling on the front you have a new lights with a very nice uh, sharp design and i love this new daytime running leds i mean just look at them they are incorporated into this new front grille uh, with nice gloss black elements and as you can see the attention to detail here is very nice for a car like this for a class like this this is impressive then you have the fog lights in here i love this gloss black element around the fog light and then this is the view you have on the front so very very large front grille and let me show you from this angle as you can see still very compact and this car has 10 options of colors and uh, this one is painted in this beautiful blue color with the gloss black roof and the pillars uh, so it looks very very nice because you have a nice contrast and everything goes very well with this 16 inch wheels very nice design uh, they have like the aerodynamic look i would say looks like they are from a much more expensive model in my opinion so yeah look at them these are of course the optional then uh, on the base stream you get 14 inch steel wheels but you can go for the 15 inch alloy and 16 inch alloy wheels so this is the view from the side and one very important detail the wheelbase has been extended by three and a half centimeters and that means more room for the people inside especially the ones on the back row and i'm gonna show you that in a moment uh, so look at this nice c pillar with this element here i10 looks very cool uh, looks like a 3d shape of this element around the i10 i10 is in gloss black and then this is plastic goes very nice with this uh, gloss black so yeah tell me in the comments what do you guys think about it and this is the view you have from the back and i kind of think it looks very sporty actually from the back i mean this is not a sports car uh, this is a small city compact car but look at the elements that you have here have this like a spoiler we can call it like a roof spoiler and then you have also the diffuser i mean it's crazy but you do have a diffuser of course uh, doesn't make any sense on a car like this but I don't know it's cool to see it i would love to see the exhaust though so it's here you need to look for it and search it but now you see it here uh, but i believe that the end line uh, which will come later will have the real one i mean uh, it came out already i did a video of that one from the frankfurt car show you can watch that but uh, that one will have the real exhaust so this is the view you have from the back very optimistic look i would say so tell me in the comments what do you guys think about the design of the all new hyundai i10 let's see the trunk now this is where you open the trunk and there we have it so this car has 252 liters of space in here and that's class leading it's really impressive you also have the dual floor so for a car like this for a small city car this is impressive uh, you can also fold the seats let me do that and then you will see that you almost have like a flat bottom uh, you can really put a lot of uh, things even the bigger things in here without any problems one thing that i would love to have are i don't know some like extensions for this because this is just stands here like this so that's the only issue that i have with this but other than that the storage space is really really impressive and now we have the sun so you can see the car in the full sunshine let me go around and show you 
once again from all the angles so tell me in the comments what do you guys think i think the designers made a big step up in the game with this one uh, i think it will also appeal to the younger crowds now and overall very very impressive design okay so it's time to step inside first of all let me show you how you can unlock and lock this car so now we have it locked and then when you come to the car just press this and then you unlock it of course it's optional thing but very very nice indeed so here you are greeted with really lovely materials i love this sort of like a 3d shape that you have uh, through the whole uh, dashboard and really looks nice then the door pockets are actually very big you can put a large bottle in here of course here we have the buttons for uh, the windows and of course here is for the mirrors i love this i mean it is plastic but looks kind of nice uh, i love this gloss black finish and then here you can also put some things for example coins or something like that now here we are greeted with this dual tone seats they do look very nice and actually hold you in one position uh, quite good uh, you can have four different exterior interior sorry colors uh, so uh, yeah this one i think it looks nice uh, like a contrast between this sort of like a white and black with the white stitching i look at the air vents they really look very very cool like they are from some premium model uh, really really big thumb up for hyundai for doing that steering wheel uh, the classic one with the all the buttons that you have here for the different controls and let me now sit and show you exactly what do we have on offer here okay so i started the car you started with this start button that's here and what do we have here well actually it's very nice environment in here because you have the huge 8 inch screen i mean for a small city car 8 inch screen is really impressive i think this is the class leading tell me in the comments what do you guys think uh, and then you also have this shortcuts for navigation radio media and uh, setup and then you can move the tracks here you also have some physical buttons here for the volume and for changing of the stations or the songs or you know stuff like that uh, it's really easy to use then here you go back this is the main menu that you have and then here is where you have the map uh, this is all very fast as you can see uh, so it's really really good uh, i'm a you know big fan of this because uh, they really you know thought about uh, you know younger crowds i think who want all the technology available in their cars uh, and yeah well Hyundai definitely delivered uh, you know with that and then this uh, is the classic cluster so you don't have the digital one but you do have this element here where you can see a bunch of uh, you know different uh, things that you have here for the for example safety systems so this car has the driver attention warning forward safety uh, basically it can stop if you don't see something in front of you then once again we have this air vent very nice also on that side those two are the standard ones then the ac speaking of the ac you can control it here it's very easy to use air blower temperature so pretty standard pretty classic easy to use turn it off here but it's really hot so i'm gonna keep it like this then here you have the 12 volt power outlet and then here is the usb port and this is the wireless charging pad just a second uh, let me show you this so it's now charging and this is the indicator for the charging pad now as you can see it is charging my phone so that's cool then here we have the heated seats it's 26 degrees outside so i'm not gonna <laughs> turn them on and then the heated steering wheel also this is the start stop off button i would probably use that all the time i don't like this system to be honest with you and then uh, this is for the parking sensors if you don't want them to go crazy all the time you press this this is the heating of the passenger seat and then here we have the gear lever for the uh, five speed manual gearbox these are of course the cup holders and then this car has the smoker package then here you can probably put some coins 
uh, this is where you can also put for example your mobile phone or something like that handbrake is the classic one there is no handrest i would love to see that actually uh, but yeah other than that it's all good once again huge door pockets we can also put some things here I and mean, just to give you the perspective this is my mobile phone and it can be here and then when you accelerate it will not go away as you can see because we have this part in here i love this element 3d shape let me show you the glove box pretty standard it is plastic but you get a lot of things uh, in here so that's always a plus so yeah i think uh, from the inside it really feels very nice very solid and one great thing is that uh, the space at the back is actually really good so uh, i'm one meter 87 and now i'm gonna adjust the seating position for myself and i'm gonna go at the back and then you'll see it's actually okay really all right so before we go at the back i just need to mention a few more things uh, that i realized i haven't shown you in terms of the infotainment system first of all connectivity now this car is a leader in terms of connectivity because look at this you can pair your phone of course with the bluetooth but there's also android auto and apple carplay both available so really a big plus for this because a lot of young customers they want to pair their phones and in this class it's not a standard and now hyundai is offering it and that's really a big plus also one cool thing that i notice is that you can actually change the color of the map on your screen so you can have it cafe latte as you can see now we have more like a brown version of this and then if you go back to navigation um, you can also go to the display map color mocha so even more brown uh, and it's cool thing i mean to play with this kind of things of course you can uh, also adjust the sound and the beeping sound of this so as you can see now when i press something uh, you do have a beeping sound you can also turn that off if you don't like it and then brightness uh, here you can change it uh, but we will put the default settings as i think they are the best also before we go at the back let me show you the sun visors for the driver and the passenger and here you have the lights uh, one light actually it's not led unfortunately but it's okay and then this is the switch for the sos for the case of an emergency uh, so yeah now we can go at the back and i can show you how much space there is a very wide angle of opening and this is the space that you have so let's enter and see how it feels in real life so i'm one meter 87 and this is actually really solid so guys look at this i have like this for my head still and uh, well yeah one meter 87 i can be comfortable here so i think this is uh, where you see that the wheelbase has been extended and then you have the extra space in here so they really did a good job with that one this is the view you have on the front uh, one thing that i also notice now is that here there is an extra storage space maybe for the rear passengers uh, you know to put some things as the door pocket here is not that huge i mean you can still have like a bottle but a smaller one and you can also have it here and then you also have the 3d shape that we saw on the front one thing that you could have here but you don't have is the uh, handle so you only have hooks like this now that we saw the car from both outside and inside it's time to take a look at the engine and also i'm gonna tell you the engines that are available for this car let me just open this and then i'll come back to you okay so the new hyundai i10 is available with two engines currently on the market both of them of course are petrol so you have the entry level one liter with 67 horsepower and then you also have this one this is the 1.2 liter uh, you can see how does this uh, engine perform on this car 
on my point of view drive which will come shortly or if you are watching later it will be somewhere here already uh, so yeah we will see all the details of that engine and i need to mention that there will be a one liter turbocharged engine with 100 horsepower and that one will be available with the n-line package let's see the car once again with the hood open up i need to mention that all the models do come with five year warranty so there's no need to worry about anything just like it's always with the hyundai models we've come to an end of this review i'm gonna take the car for a spin now i have the key here as you can see it's a new and very nice key but before we end let's talk about pricing of this car as this is a very good value for money so the base price for this new i10 is in my market in creation market 79,990 kunas that's a really good price of course this one is uh, you no know, more expensive because it has the stronger engine and uh, top trim pack but i don't know the exact price of this car currently but the link will be in the description with uh, all the pricing of the car and also i will add the price total price for this particular model and that's it guys thank you very much for watching subscribe to the channel in order to see this car in action point of view drive coming and also night point of view drive coming that's it for now see you on the next one bye bye